What's going on, y'all, man? Bring y'all back with another Death Battle reaction. I need to catch up on a lot of them because a lot of them I missed. So if there's any of them that y'all would like for me to ch check out, make sure y'all post that down in the comments. I think I missed like a Power Rangers Ryu, something like that one. And some other ones, some, some other anime ones. But we're about to react to this uh, Samurai Jack versus Afro Samurai Death Battle. All right, without further ado, I already watched the beginning of the video so i'm just gonna re be recording the the fight itself so let's do this thing i want to say samurai jack is gonna win i like samurai jack though Your sword smells of blood. So does yours. Fight! Huh. Okay. <laughs> Dang, he cut his hat. Really? Oh, can use his, his. Oh, we killing it. Okay. Then they just cutting up the whole bridge. They just cut up the whole bridge. They just <laughs> that that bridge gonna fall, man. That bridge gonna fall. Really? You jump good. Oh, Tom, uh, thank. Tom Bossom, you jump good. What the hell? <laughs> Tom Bossom, you jump good. You... Oh, yo. No! They both gonna die? Come on, Samurai Jack! Who won? Oh. Come on, they both? Dang! Yo! Wow! Watch out! Gotta get back. Back to the past Samurai. Yo, that was brutal than a mug! <laughs> Yo! That was crazy. Run that back. That was extra brutal. Oh my god. This was crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. That was brutal. Oh my goodness. So, like, is he gonna get his arm back? Or 
Afro was an exceptional warrior, and his skills would absolutely dominate most sword fights. However, Jack has had a lot of experience with opponents who fight dirty, and Afro could not stand up to his physical superiority. Yeah, yeah Afro never showed strength like how Jack lifted that 39-ton boulder. Jack could react as fast as 70% the speed of light. Afro did block that light speed laser beam, but based on the distance between him and the Afro droid, he only needed to react around 21% the speed of light to do this, still putting him at impressive relativistic speeds, but not even half as quick as Jack. Also, while Afro survived that mega-sized RPG explosion, don't forget how Jack survived a fall from orbit. While it does seem the spacesuit was responsible for Jack surviving re-entry, it certainly can't be held solely accountable for the final impact. Starting his descent Man. from the Carmen line, or the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and space, Jack covered a distance of 62 miles in just under 7 seconds, <laughs> moving well over terminal velocity. Right. Thanks to being propelled by exploding space beam. Which means his top velocity was approximately 37,000 miles per hour. Adding the spacesuit's weight to his own, this means his impact force must have equaled about 19 megatons of force. Wow. Way more than anything Afro survived. Yeah. Then he just got up and walked away. <laughs> In the end, Jack was just too fast, yep. too strong, too tough, and too well trained for Afro to <clears throat> handle. <laughs> is Samurai Jack. Thanks for watching. If you guys want exclusive commentary on the episode, just click that little box right over there. And if you want the battle music, wow, man, that's crazy, y'all. That was that's crazy. That was crazy. Oh yeah, Ryu versus Jin. That's one I need to check out. We'll be checking that out today as well. But dang, I, like I said, I, I said Samurai Jack was gonna win it, and he won it. That's what I'm talking about. This was brutal. This was really brutal. So man, if y'all like my reaction to this, post your comments down below. Like and share with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more reaction videos. Make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Janko hunted down for 100,000 subscribers and Janka is out.